Hi, I'm Rohan Puwada. I work as a staff engineer at Qualcomm India Private Limited, and I work with the machine learning customer engineering team. In this video, I will show you the procedure to set up the neural processing engine SDK. First, we download the SDK from developer.qualcom.com. You can download the latest version of the SDK by clicking here. Today, we'll be using the SDK version 2.2.1. This version is supported only on Ubuntu 18.04. Now that you have Ubuntu, we first install a few basic packages like pip and pip3. We first do an app get update, install python pip. Please note, all the packages are already installed on the system. Now install python 3 pip. And finally an upgrade to pip. It is recommended to use Python 3.6 for our purpose. So we give higher priority to Python 3.6 by using update alternatives command. We first set priority 1 to Python 2.7 and give a higher priority to Python 3.6. As you can see, we are now using Python 3.6. We now proceed to unzip the snappy SDK we downloaded earlier. Next, we install a few requirements of the Snappy SDK. It is recommended to use the versions suggested in setup.html file provided in the SDK to avoid dependency errors. For this per particular version, we install NumPy 1.18.5 Spings 2.2.1 Matplotlib scikit-image 0.15.0 maco and clang we also install the machine learning frameworks like tensorflow onyx PyTorch, etc. You will find the version details applicable for your SDK in setup.html file and it is recommended to use the same versions while building your applications. This particular SDK version is tested with TensorFlow 2.3, TFLite 2.3.0, Onyx 1.6.0 and Torch 1.8.1 and I'm going to install each of them.
this is for tensorflow 2.3 tflight 2.3.0 Annex 1.6.0 and Torch 1.8.1 The next step is to install Android NDK. The tested version is 17C. You can download this version from the GitHub page of Android. We scroll down to 17C and download the Linux version. Once a zip file is downloaded, you can unzip it and update the environment variable Android underscore NDK underscore root. I unzipped it in this location. So I will use this command to update the variable. We now check if all the Ubuntu dependencies are installed by running the dependencies.sh script. As you can see, all the Ubuntu dependencies are met. All the Python dependencies are checked with check underscore python underscore depends dot sh script. As you can see, all the Python dependencies are met. We are now at the last step where we update the framework installation paths. For example, we can get the installation path of TensorFlow using the command pip show TensorFlow. This is the location and we append the tensorflow to this path and update the installation path using nsetup.sh script. Notice the minus t which uh, represents tensorflow and we do the same for other frameworks. Notice the P for PyTorch, the TFLight flag for TFLight, and the O flag for Onyx. And this completes the setup of SDK. You can find more videos on neural processing engine in the Qualcomm Developer Network YouTube channel. Thank you and happy coding.